Okay, let me share my screen as well. Let me know once you're able to see my screen. I hope you are able to see my screen, right? All right. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, please and good evening in Singapore. And uh, good morning, good afternoon from different regions. Not sure. Uh, so today our topic is integrate Salesforce with Slack. I know this is the second session when we start the group uh, way before in Feb 2022. And myself, Anindra, and uh, today we would like to go through some agenda. Our agenda is today. We'll go through the Slack chapter Singapore introductions, and uh, we'll give you some details about what Slack chapter Singapore and what we do normally. And after that, we'll quickly go through the integration of Salesforce with Slack. So it's a hands-on exercise. So I'll go through a step-by-step -step process where everyone can learn and then practice themselves upfront. After that, we'll talk about a couple of couple of use cases for the Salesforce for Slack integration. And uh, if any questions and answers, I think I'll be happy to help you out for all the Slack for, for TS Hero. So the most important thing, uh, this is something that we would like to, you know, uh, uh, help for the community uh, to get it certified. And uh, the most important where uh, all throughout the session, mention us in your tweets with the hashtag below. Uh, with Ergichata, Slack headquarters, Slack community, hashtag Slack community, and hashtag Slack. And you could stand a chance to win a certification voucher of Salesforce. So this is something that we would like to, you know, encourage the people who wants to learn something on the new digital platforms, especially on the Slack communication channel or anywhere in the Salesforce product. Right? I'll just stay for two seconds here, and then you can capture the relevant information, and then you can just mention us in our tweets, and then put your hashtags, and uh, just just expose this event across the community so that the rest of the people can understand what we are doing as a part of a community. And then they would really come up with a lot of questions and they would really come up with uh, multiple uh, ideas to uh, present, uh, multiple ideas to present in the next events onwards. All right. So let me go back to the introduction, our first agenda. Uh, Coming to myself, uh, I'm working as a CTO in uh, one of the Salesforce Platinum Partner Company with Salesforce, which is Hephaestoki. And uh, I'm a Salesforce and AWS Enterprise Architect. I'm a group leader in Singapore Salesforce Marketers as well as Slack Chapter. And I'm certified Marketing Cloud uh, uh, Champion. And I have few Salesforce certifications, which include uh, Velocity and MuleSoft. And, uh, I'm a Martech architect, architect as well. I'm a mentor, trailblazer mentor, and I'm a speaker, and I'm a blogger as well. So to know about our community, our Singapore Slack uh, chapter community. So ideally, this is the page of our Slack community, Singapore. And we are 159 group members. Now, so we're slowly growing up on a Singapore Slack, uh, the best digital headquarter channel uh, company. And uh, so we do a lot of events actually. So we just started two events initially, once with the uh, introduction to Salesforce of Slack and all the stuff. And after that, we uh, had one networking session, especially on Singapore itself. And today we would like to go through some more uh, depth use case, especially about uh, how we are integrating Salesforce with Slack and then what are all the use cases that are beneficial for the sales and service users that they work proactively in terms of how they manage their sales pipeline, how they, you know, service the customer more efficiently in a different way. And uh, recommending everyone to join this group and to get more relevant updates. So I'll, I'll push this link to, you know, uh, in a chat link so that uh, everyone can join this link for more updates. Okay. So that's a group and that's about myself. Now we will talk about, uh, you know, how to integrate slack with salesforce but before we'll talk about you know uh, i think this is i think some of the folks uh, this is the first session uh, with singapore slack chapter and i would like to give a quick introduction about slack slack is the digital messaging channel that works with a lot of beneficial for a lot of uh, peeps for customers a lot of uh, employees because nowadays everyone you everyone are using slack because slack is such a way it's very Intuitive because it's here, my day to day work all start with Slack for different kind of a channels. And you look at uh, different kind of, uh, you know, uh, workspaces that what I've created and different kind of information that what it provides. So, yes, you can directly message to your internal employees or you can talk to your because it's here. So, this is a company where we work with. So, the customers are also part of the Slack. So, we easily 
uh, you know, communicate with the Slack. We'll have some cool emotions, emojis, everything is available. And then you can integrate Slack with many of the channels. You can integrate with uh, different kind of apps available in Slack. They could just browse different kind of apps. They could integrate the Google Calendar Sync, Drive, Zoom, Trello, Twitter. So plenty of apps available on our front. And uh, there is a free edition of Slack for everyone, for, uh, for everyone can leverage. And there are other editions available uh, on, a, uh, on a premium base, especially Salesforce uh, purchased recently Slack, as you have everyone aware of it. And there are some three licenses available in Slack, which is Slack standard license and the premium licenses, pros licenses and enterprise licenses. And if anyone wants to know about Slack licensing, so ideally uh, you can go and then talk to one of our account executive so that we will give some details about the licensing part as well, right? So that's what uh, Slack, but but essentially uh, when we are moving into a digital space on a digital environment, uh, especially on this hybrid hybrid work culture, so most of a lot of customers are using Slack and slowly uh, everyone are moving into Slack because there's one common channel uh, to connect with multiple workspaces and then you can connect with multiple systems so that people don't need to switch their uh, you know, systems into logging into their Trello project management tools, logging into their uh, you know, Google Drive, logging into Salesforce, everyone, they can sit in Slack and then you can get all the notifications and alerts, right? So that's what Slack does because it 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 continuously you know decreasing our our time uh, to logging into different channels where we can sit in single space of slack channel and then everyone will will get a lot of notifications and analysis that gives a lot of productivity as well right that's what they're calling as a digital headquarter now today we would like to understand people thinks about okay how slack and salesforce both get connected because there are multiple use cases that I would like to envision and talk about it, right? One with salespeople, where a person can create an opportunity and then uh, the opportunity owner is sitting in Slack and then he didn't, uh, don't have an access to logging into Salesforce, where he want all the updates in Slack itself. And some of the customers are, uh, you know, reaching out to the customer support teams and the customer support team also using Slack and he want to directly message to the customer via Slack saying that your case is resolved to increase the customer experience and the productivity. So that's all you can do it in within Slack. You don't need to switch back to Salesforce. But in order to do integration between both the systems, we'll let understand and uh, learn how we connect both the systems. Okay. Let's go ahead. I think this is taken from, I think, Sombir. He's already joined uh, from his Medium blog. Uh, everyone feels about how Salesforce and Slack works because it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I tried all these integrations, uh, you know, a long way back and would like to give the same information and share my knowledge as well on the Slack integrations. So now everyone treating Slack as a digital headquarter and then uh, how we are part of this digital space and how we would like to integrating Salesforce with Slack because Slack is where the future works, right? Because it gives a com complete comfortness for all the team's perspective, right? So the common terms, you know, we need to understand what does what, uh, like who does what, uh, what Slack app, while you installing a Slack app into Salesforce, what are all the elements, what are all the functionalities that Salesforce will perform? And at the same time, when we install Salesforce app into Slack, what are all the functionality Slack will does us? If you look at these elements, right? The Slack app installed to Salesforce, if I install the Slack app inside Salesforce, I'll showcase how the installation works. So it's available in Salesforce App Exchange as well. I'll showcase that. And uh, you could view the Slack messages directly inside your Salesforce because in Slack, you directly message to the respective person associated to that record, right? Then you can see those messages directly in Salesforce. And you could send a message directly. You can send a Salesforce message to Slack from Salesforce. And is there any, you can de design a lot of alerts, any opportunity closed one, any attention of an opportunity, any opportunity expirations, any case closure, any case status changes, or any other campaign uh, metric, any ROI discussions, everything that you could design an alert inside Salesforce on a particular Slack channel, right? So all these things you could do inside your Salesforce. And at the same time, in Slack, we have a Slack directory, which is nothing but a Slack app directory where we can go and then install the Salesforce app. 
And what you can do is you can see all the Salesforce records with the standard object records and the custom object records. Everything you can so in everything you can see inside your uh, uh, Slack. And at the same time, you could route the relevant alerts to Slack channels, and you could send some Slack messages to Salesforce records as well. All these things can be done inside uh, Slack, right? So this is what uh, Salesforce and Slack does as an indi individual responsibilities. Now we can go and start our integration flow. I designed an integration flow so that everyone can understand uh, easily. So this integration flow, we'll talk about on a step-by-step -step integration between both the systems, Slack and Salesforce. Now I would recommend everyone to, uh, you know, logging into their Trailhead accounts, please, because we'll start integrating both the systems. And within integration of exercise, you will learn so many things, okay? So I would recommend everyone to go to the Trailhead store and then go to their relevant hands and ops. Yeah, just let me know if anyone have any issues logging into the Trailhead account or going to into their hot. It's just nothing but logging into Trailhead and then just click on your profile and then go to here, hands on ogs. Just click on hands on ogs. Now, once you click on hands on ox, you can landing into this page. I'll just stay for a second and then I'll go through it. What needs to be done. Okay. So once you're logging into trailhead, I would recommend to create a, a new playground. Okay. Just create a new playground. Put this playground as the name as maybe you know Slack integration. So the Slack integration, they're writing a they're, they're getting ready a playground. If anyone wants to use their existing playgrounds also, they can definitely use it. Uh, it is, there's no there's no prerequisite step, but uh, I was just creating a new I just creating a new playground. If anyone wants to connect the existing playground, they can just click, uh, simply click on launch. No problem. Anyone, anything works. Okay. So next, what you guys do is, so you can go and then uh, you can click on launch here. And then once you click on launch, or once the new environment has new environment has been created. Okay, so let me check my environment has been created or not. So yes, so here uh, my environment has been ready, uh, which is nothing but Slack integration. So what I'll do is I'll click on launch. And now I'm jumping into this page. Okay, playground starter. You can see welcome page, install a page, get your login credentials. So what you can do is just click on install a package. Inside the install a package, so you have an option here. Uh, there is a app exchange ID, the Slack app, where I can paste here. Just copy this entire ID. I'll put it here. And just put the package ID here. Okay, and then click on install. And then choose install for admins only. Click on install, and then uh, all these permissions, especially on the you know, because every app application uh, you have an ability that you have to request or provide your trust factor to third-party websites. So just select all this. If any one of them not selected, just select everything and then click on yes and click on continue.
so let let this will take some time uh, around a minute or two and then automatically you can see this and there uh, slack is going to be available under your install packages so it'll take some time for installing and granting access to our entire sales force so let me know if anyone has struck any way just put a message in uh, uh, meeting the invite you can put a message in general and then i'll happy to help you out okay So this app takes a little longer time to install, but however, just click on done and then you will directly landing into your install packages page, something like this. And then uh, still it's not been installed here. So just take some time. And after that, it will be automatically installed just to refresh your screen for getting some updates. Okay, I'll just wait for a minute. Let me know if anyone has struck anywhere. I think all good, right? Just give some a thumbs up or somewhere if you if you all good okay all good so now once to install the package is here i have installed the slack see here the slack has been installed successfully and you don't have any option to expiration because it doesn't expire this app doesn't expire which is salesforce designed app and now what you can do is you can go to the app launcher just choose a slack setup just click on slack setup so here you see here there's a slack setup where the slack page is going to be landed up now where you can follow some instructions to start with so just click on get started okay once you get started now it'll asking us to establish and manage the connection between both slack and salesforce okay what you do is you click on authorize because this is a slack authentication app where we need to give an authorization to our our salesforce org click on hello now it shows us connected right just click on finish After that, just click on continue. Now here, uh, you can just enable how many, what are all the custom object configuration because you want to build a lot of custom alerts as, as well, right? Because you want to build any uh, student's custom object or if you wish to add a lot of custom objects to your org, uh, then you could allow this, just enable all the supported custom objects for the Slack updates, any record changes on the custom object, any record updates on the custom objects where the status will go to Slack. For that purpose, they given an object configuration. For now, we don't have any custom objects. We just click on finish for now. Now just click on continue. So once you complete these two steps, just let me know if anyone has any struggle in between. So happy to help you out. Once you've done these two steps, once you've done these two steps, what you have to do is Let's go to the Slack app directory. So here, as I mentioned the flow where we are currently, we install and configure a Slack app. We install the Slack application. We provided an admin permissions and provided the grant access to relevant permissions. After successful installation, we went to the app launcher. We went with Slack setup. We established the connection between Salesforce and Slack. And after that, the next step is we need to provide a user permissions. For providing a user permissions for my profile, what you have to do is you have to go to the setup, go to the permission sets. And then just find out a Slack standard user. You see Slack standard user, just click on the standard user permission set, click on manage assignments, and then provide the permission to the user that what you are, what you are currently logging, logged in, because this is the user that what have been logged in. I clicked on assign, clicked on. Once you assign the permissions, just click on done. Now we assign the permissions 
for the user to interact with the Slack apps, right? So this step, we have done it. We provided a uh, user permissions to the assignment. The next step. Now we have to go to the Slack app and we need to install. Now we install the Slack app inside Salesforce. Now we need to install the Salesforce app inside Slack because it's a two -way integration, right? Now we have to go to the Slack app directory. So just click on this link. Go to the Slack app directory. So this is a Slack app directory. Okay. So before you get the Slack app directory, right team. So you have an option here because I already have uh, installed the Slack app. Now everyone needs a, at least a Slack access. Everyone needs a Slack, uh, you know, uh, the Slack account uh, doesn't mean that a Slack account. So for creating a Slack account, everyone to create a Slack account first. So here, uh, when you go to the slack.com, where you have an option to uh, create an account in Slack. Once you create an account in Slack, you have to come to this directory and then just click on here. You'll have an option install a kind of a button called install. Just click on install. When you get an install option, so you will get a, a couple of options, especially on uh, provide uh, because here they'll get an option, something like this, because I install slack app so just provide any kind of a channel name because they'll ask you what is your channel name just provide the channel name called integrations testing or whatever it is and then you can just on just provide some random names and then just click on create uh, the channel so that automatically it will create the channel so you have to perform those steps before we landing into this before we landing into the next page. Let me know if anyone has any questions. Installing of any Salesforce app team, we require a Slack account, which is a free account given by Sales Slack. It'll at least it'll provide you 90 days of free services. Of course, it'll have lifelong free services, but some of the permissions you will get 90 days after that you have to purchase the slack account to get the premium per premier permissions once you install the slack salesforce app and then you have to create a, they'll ask you a, a channel name provide the channel name and then complete the relevant steps okay so once you complete the relevant steps so you can landing into this this is my channel which is nothing but uh, SFDC Slack integration. So everyone can see something like this, a kind of a channel. So this is the channel that what I created for an integration, nothing but SFDC Slack integration. Now you can see here, this kind of an option under channel, integration testing channel name, general option, random. And you could see the direct messages, the person name. If you wish to invite a lot of your folks, your friends and all, then you can be able to you know invite as well on this because you have a sales team right the sales team you can invite all your sales team here as a sales manager so once you're landing into this step once you're done this step ideally so what you have to do is so the next step is you have to create an alerts so alerts as alerts are nothing but you know you just read this topic but you understand more while we're doing this alerts is nothing but uh you know so you can Customize all the alerts for any Salesforce record changes, any, any Salesforce uh, record creation, record updations, or any other uh, sales lead tag. Uh, you know, if you assign a sales lead to some certain people inside your team and any status of the lead status, sorry, converted leads, all the information will going to trigger an event back to uh, Slack. Okay, so what we do is we'll go back to our Slack setup. Okay, now we can design a custom alerts. Once you've done this part, once you've done this part, whatever I've told, you have to come back to your Slack setup in this page. Hope you're all following me. Let me know if anyone has any questions. Okay, no questions as of now. Okay, let's go back and then click on continue. Now here, I'm going to design a new alert, okay, for configuring a new alert. This alert is nothing but, I'm going to design an alert called opportunity Closed one alert. 
here i'm going to select an object opportunity okay and here i want to do a record level alerts click on record level all right okay click on next now choose a field stage when an opportunity stage equals to closed one okay this is my alert i clicked on save once i clicked on save i'll have an option my alert will be automatically saved here okay then just click on finish now i design a simple alert you can design many more alerts it's not any specific and add lot many alerts maybe you can put some lead alert as well so this lead alert ideally nothing but you can choose a lead and data record level and then you could add some more categories maybe lead of stages equals to closed converted like this you can have so many alerts ideally right and you click on finish once you've done your alerts so next step is to configure the org so here as i told you in typical salesforce everyone wants an update from both the systems because if any any messages updated back to uh, salesforce uh, from slack so everyone want to add the slack lightning components because slack providing a, a complete lightning components to send a messages through a record wise or you could see the messages what's happening in slack or it's a two way communication right so everyone want to see a lot of messages now here for a demo purpose just add the layouts to for no leads and an opportunities the leads layout and an opportunity layout right just add all the leads and opportunity layout and then click on add actions to layout so now it's saying successfully added slack actions to the selected page layout just click on next so if a lot of developers right so you want to build a lot of lightning web components also right so if some of the people were uh, funny i don't have any separate uh, standard pages we build a complete custom page uh, and which include lightning web components so an ability for the slack is giving us to add the slack relevant components also to the custom lightning web component directly via this kind of an option you can add components those slack components to lightning web component pages as well nothing but a lightning page so now I click on finish now i've done our configuration as well right so next we need to uh, build a complete process which is nothing but an automatic configuration now we set it up data model we set up the connection between both the systems we set up the data model from salesforce to get the alerts going back to slack uh, the next important step is to make an automatic nothing but whenever a criteria matches you have to send a messages to slack and alerts to slack right so now just click on continue and then here it'll ask you sign in sign in with slack what you have to do is you have to go to the sign in with slack once you click on sign in with slack it will ask you the slack channel because my channel is sfdc slack integration it, you also have the same permissions it automatically asks you your channel recently created as a part of this step we'll just click on hello because mine is invalid code because i already connected to one of the account my initial account but i'll showcase that maybe logging into that hands on as well so meanwhile i would recommending uh, you people to connect with the same thing i'll once again showcase so once you click on that it'll ask you your latest slack channel and then click on authorize so it will give you a, a complete configuration once you've done the configuration right it'll give you a kind of a, an option for you called message destination let me know if anyone stuck anywhere here so for all good right if all good just give us a thumbs up team if anyone has any questions i'll happy to help you out once the configuration has been done authorization is done what you can see is once the authorization is done what you can see in your slack channel is you can see your slack channel with apps under salesforce if if all the people can see a salesforce apps under your slack integration channel then then the connection between both the systems have 
pretty good done. Nothing but there's no issues with the connection between both the systems. If anyone has any issues while they're not can't able to see the Salesforce app inside here, then there's a problem connecting with the platforms. Let me know if anyone has any issues or all good right so far. Please tell me the last step again. Okay. So uh, you have to go to the Slack setup uh, uh, team. So once you click on this last setup after our configuration, there is one more option here. Click on continue, right? Once you click on continue, so you'll have an option to a small pop-up will appear called Slack authorization. You authorize that Slack. Once you authorize the Slack, it automatically landing into this, this page without this message destination. So you just forget about this. You only see this new message destination. Is there anything wrong with anyone? Okay, I'll just for a couple of seconds. So probably uh, people, if anyone not understood or anything you required as a part of earlier step, just let me know. I'll happy to help you out. Okay, so once this is done, what you have to do is you have to create a new message destination. Just go and then click on new message destination. Okay. And then what you have to do is you have to add any message destination name, which is nothing but opportunity closed one messages or anything. Choose a Slack workspace you created, nothing but SFDC Slack integration. Choose a Slack channel that what you have created, integration testing. Because if you look at my workspace is SFDC Slack, my integration, my channel is integration testing. You look at my same thing, my SFDC Slack integration app and my channel is integration testing. So these two, which you have to map it, it, it automatically shows actually when you connect the authorization successfully with the Slack, it will automatically showcase your workspace name along with the channel or the person name. Once you select this, you just click on save. Once you click on save, you will get a message destination ID. You have to copy this message destination ID. Just copy this. I'll take a pass here for a couple of seconds. Once everyone complete this step, just give me a heads up. Just make a thumbs up in chat, that's it. Let me know once everyone has completed the step. Prashant, please tell me. Uh, I think Sombir also. Uh, Sombir is an expert, of course, in Slack. Yep. So I think hope everyone done this step right, team. OK, all right. So once you copy this message destination ID, now what you have to do is now we have to build a flow, either flow or a process builder. But ideally, you can just build anything. Uh, there's no restriction, but everyone are going close nowadays. Uh, I'll show, showcase what the process builder that what I have built, and you can build the same thing. Even in process builder or whatever flow, I would recommend anything. There's no stoppage for testing now. So I created a flow. So in flow, it'll just showcase the steps. So you just choose an opportunity as an object, and with the start with the with the operation only when a record is created or edited. I choose a created or edited step. or but just recommending choose when a record is created so that we'll have some more updates choose an object opportunity choose a process only when a record is created or if you want anything when a record is created or edited anything you wish to have there's no stop you can do anything once you choose your object now choose your criteria for the action group put the criteria as send to slack and the conditions are stage equals to closed one If anyone go to flow, I think I'll showcase in flow as well. It's not stop. So just create a criteria with the name send to Slack. Choose the criteria for executing actions as conditions are met. And set the conditions are opportunity stage 
equals closed one. Okay. Once you've done this, immediately you have to add an action. This is nothing but a post message action. An action name is sent to Slack. Choose an Apex class, Slack post message. You have to choose an immediate action sent to Slack. Action name is sent to Slack. Choose an Apex class, Slack post message. Set the Apex variables as message destination ID, the one which you copied long back, right? And the Slack configuration setup. Copy the message destination ID here and the record ID, which is a field reference of opportunity ID and a message with a string of anything. You want to put any message, it's up to you. Congrats, new opportunity created because this message will go to the Slack team. I'll stay pass here. So you just configure the immediate action with the Apex class and set the variables. After that, just activate the process builder or a flow, whatever it is. Let me know once you are done this, give a thumbs up in chart. So we'll go to the next steps. Okay, I think most of the folks have done it. So once you activate the process builder team, once you activated the process builder, right? Now what do you go? What do you do is let's go to an opportunity. And let's create a new opportunity. You can choose any account, put the stage as closed one. Uh, it's just a, not a, it's, it's good to have to fill all the values so that uh, it would nice to see all the required values inside Slack. Okay, once you fill everything and then click on save. Now my opportunity sent to Slack Salesforce SCL meetup. Uh, I've just created here with all the details. Now, what you can do is you can go back to your Slack channel and then just check it out whether this record will be sent to Salesforce Slack channel or not under integration testing. I need to see this. Let me refresh. Just check it out once you can see your opportunity record inside uh, Slack or not. Uh, you can see the record. Let me know if anyone has any troubleshooting problems or anything. So hope to see your record in Salesforce under Slack, right? Just give me a thumbs up if you see your record in Salesforce Slack. Uh, or you just copy the entire opportunity name as well. And you can search with the uh, Slack as well. Mine is not created because I've just need to be connected again.
can you see the recording if anyone has any questions can you give a thumbs up please if you see the record inside your slack So at the same time, we do have a couple of features where, as I see, right, we added at the time of configuration, we added a couple of uh, uh, page layouts, a couple of buttons to uh, opportunity record page layouts, right? So here you have an option send to Slack as well. So in send to Slack, uh, you could send a message with uh, the channel that what we have. And then I'm going to put a message to the entire uh, channel team saying that, hey, uh, I want to understand how quick how quick this opportunity was closed. You could use this send to Slack uh, component to send a messages to the relevant opportunity or relevant Slack team as well. Just click on send to Slack. Yeah, there are some issues with my Slack, but. But you guys can try it out. It definitely works for you. Because mine, I've just created uh, double apps so that's the reason that it has been authorization has been failed but you would recommend Let me know once you're having any troubleshoot, any issues while well, we can troubleshoot as well in the later point of time. Let me know if anyone has any questions. I think uh, all good or whatever it is. Can you just give some information, please? I'm just retesting my connection. I've just reauthorized with the latest channel name. That's testing. Yeah, I think some problem with my Slack, but of course you guys have done from start to start scratch onwards, right? Now we can see it all the messages. Okay, so I'll tell you some more processes where you can send a, a Slack message here because uh, uh, yesterday I've tested, uh, tested out all this information. Now from here, from Slack also, you have an ability that you could message directly to the opportunity record because when you look at this, so here, you can see the respective channel integration testing. So here you have an option where you can just choose and uh, add to Salesforce. Now we could choose a Salesforce record of uh, flag to SF integration testing. Just choose a record that whoever record you want it. And then they'll have, they'll have, you have an option to go to the message. Once you add the message and click on add, so automatically the message will go back to Salesforce and it will be shown under here like this. This opportunity is turning towards closure. Make sure we focus and close it as soon as possible. At the same time, you could define a lot of alerts directly from an opportunity here. So under opportunity, you have different level of alerts in Slack. You could choose the channel that what we have. And then you could choose available alerts. Opportunity stage change to one. Any stage has been changed. Amount has been changed. Any opportunities closing today, so you can use this predefined out of the box alerts given by Slack, and then you can set it up these alerts up front, right? Once you set up these alerts, automatically all the alerts will go back to your Salesforce, uh, your Slack channel, because this is 
alert that I what I've added recently. So this information, I need attention on this opportunity. So this will automatically come here. Right. So, so like this, the integration with both the platforms seamlessly works. And uh, of course, there are some uh, things, so the glitches where we need to take care about it, especially on re other integration, because this app, I already connected to one org. So the same org I connected once again, right? So that's the reason which is causing a pain for me. But ideally, uh, this is how the integration between both the systems works. You look at, right? We created an alert, enable the system connections and add actions to the layouts. We automate the Slack into configuration. We created the message, copy the destination ID. We went to process builder or a flow. We choose a flow action with type FX. We activate the process. And additionally, you can use a send to Slack option. You can send an urgent messages to any Slack workspace or channel with any custom message. And at the same time, you could send messages from Slack to Salesforce as well. As an option here, available, you can just choose a couple of messages directly from Salesforce as well. Just go to the more actions, click on add to Salesforce. Now this message will directly comes to Salesforce here. And then there's one more option where this component is not out of the box, not available, related Slack messages. What you do is you have to drag and drop this component related Slack messages to any of your page builder. Then you will see all the messages that have been reported from Slack. Just drag and drop this related Slack messages component to your page builder of opportunity record page. Right, and then you can click on save. So that's how this entire flow of integration works seamlessly between both Slack and Salesforce. And uh, let's see here, both Slack and Salesforce. And uh, there are some other use cases, especially on uh, sales and service use cases, but just let me know if anyone has any questions so far. Yep. So there's one more where uh, you click on your related Slack messages. When you click on this, it will directly landing into your Slack. <clears throat> so there's a message that what we have entered here. So these are all the options you have once you configure uh, both the platforms. And at the same time, you have an alerts. You can directly send an information uh, to Slack, send to Slack, and you can design the alerts directly at an opportunity level, at a record level as well. Right? And let's go back to the presentation once again. So that states that how we connected both the systems. And now we're going to talk about <clears throat> a couple of use cases, right? So the use cases are predominantly uh, sales cloud and service cloud and FSL use cases as well, because a lot of customers are working on sales cloud where they're deeply understand how we can collaborate a new sales lead and how we can stay in the know with this customized notifications to the leads. Because leads is nothing but uh, he's just a suspect for you so far because he, he didn't come to your place and the same suspect using Slack as well as a part of their digital communication. Now you have the customer sitting in Slack and then you could directly send some customized notifications to the customer to get the lead up and running. And at the same time as a sales lead, you have a sales team where you can manage all the notifications. You can look at all your notifications, all the opportunities, everything under one roof and you could customize the alerts. You could just use a couple of uh, emojis and other notification and you could just update any messages directly inside slack so that you see the slack messages component right so the same messages all the messages will be seen under salesforce so it's, it's a one single platform where you can sit under one collaboration tool nothing but slack and then you could just communicate all your customers and internal partners as well as your internal employees as well so those are all the sales cloud use cases but ideally when you look at the service cloud the service cloud is the same thing. Uh, once you lead, once you get the, once you've done the lead, obviously you want to create an opportunity and then you're going to create a quotation and you're going to convert a quotation to an invoice. And then you coordinate, you, you can, your customers will have any issues with the product installations or anything that they'll reach out to your service, service agent, service agent, obviously using Slack and Slack, they can get a case updates to the Slack and then directly from Slack, you can reply to the customer. So that level of productivity, which you can which you can gather inside Slack, you don't need to you know logging into Salesforce again. There are too many uh, switching systems don't require. They could bring together into a Slack channel and then you could just perform all the actions. At the same time, you can also use stay in the know, customize notifications on the on the entire alerts, your case updations, your knowledge articles, or anything that you wish to promote to the customers. You could just send some knowledge articles directly from Slack uh, to the customer. 
and the customers can really feel happy with the communication and customer also using slack and it supports all the browsers it supports all the mobile channels ios android and all the different apps so that everywhere you can use a slack it's number one slack uh, digital headquarter platform <laughs> And you could use more collaboratively and effectively when you're trying to get some short updates from all your personas. So that's the service cloud. The same thing for field service cloud. So for FSL also, it's ideally, you know, technicians will go back and then they'll update all this work order, work orders and uh, any service appointments or anything, all the things which you can connect to the same configuration. You don't require any uh, programmatic skills required, it's just a pure configuration where you can configure the alerts, you can configure the customized notifications, everything can be done inside Salesforce, and you could just manage your work routine accordingly and manage the productivity of every agent sitting in route because they're all going into a different route and they need a lot of information coming and supporting from sales manager or the key account managers or an operations managers. So ideally the person has to go and then uh, uh, get some updates from the managers on different kind of uh you know fields of his activities so that's where the productivity will come across all the personas irrespective of the sales service or fields of his or any other uh, technicians or any other agents so that's how both the systems works collaboratively together to get the customer help to make it as a more customer 360. so that's what our today's topic team so hope you learned something of course, there are some troubleshootings which you have found out, but it's very seamless. When I when you do first times, it's all very quick. And uh, we slowly learn a lot of lot of stuff inside uh, this Slack. Just now we started with integration. Now in the coming sessions, I think we have Sombir, and he's one of the great Slack uh, developer. And uh, now uh, we have some sessions in next month uh, to know more about how to design these alerts, how to configure and customize all these alerts, how to create a Slack channel automatically from Salesforce. So all those pre fancy stuff where we can going to showcase with some hands on exercises. So keep watching us and keep uh, looking us. And we have some more uh, information, especially some of the references. If anyone wants to try this trial head, this is uh, a trial head the complete the one which whatever I've showcased. So this is exactly uh, sitting under uh, this trial mix one with uh, use cases for sales service cloud. And this is the integration Salesforce with Slack. And this is a collaborate using Salesforce app in Slack. So this trial mix will help you out to understand the integration between both the systems, which include a couple of use cases as well. So I would recommend everyone to try this out as well. Right, so along with this, we have some Slack help center where uh, if you have any other product related queries or any other tools that you wish to see, uh, so these are all a Slack help center will help you out to, uh, because a number of Slack frontiers will come together to bring a lot of suggestions on this effective blogs where they have designed a lot of upgradations on the Salesforce uh, Slack app exchange packages and uh, different configurations across the platform, how to do and all this stuff. So this help center will help you out to talk many of the Slack uh, experts and then you can uh, use the intuitively and proactively learning different connecting tools and automatic activities from Slack. So this is the space you can go and then learn many of the things. So there is not least, uh, but but this is something good. If anyone want to become a Slack certified, uh, I want everyone to be uh, learn something new in the recent uh, digital ecosystem because a lot of people are moving ahead. So I want everyone to move ahead as well with their career and a growth perspective. Now Slack is going very high and rapidly. So you know, coming days, coming months, everyone everyone needs a slack developer because that's where it's going towards and uh, anyone wants to become a slack certified so just sign up here and then there are some badges available freely and you could do the badges and then once you do the badges uh, based on your performance maybe slack will give you some free certification notices and then you can write some slack admin slack developer and architect exams as well so this is a page where you can go and then create your uh, slack uh, education account and then you could become a slack certified as well okay so uh that's it uh teams thank you for joining and uh look looking forward for more sessions and we're exactly one hour of time uh which we completed the event and uh so i look at the twitters and uh, i'll i'll see if uh, anyone has more proactive in twitter communication then i'll i'll, I'll just reach out to them to get the certification voucher and once again thank you so much for joining
and keep watching us and keep looking us for more updates and in the next month we are coming with a lot of sessions because i'm going to dreamforce so i'll get some more updates on slack in dreamforce and we have sombeer and who is joined uh, in our group so uh, we both can plan some sessions in next month uh, on a slack uh, and most of them are hands on exercises and we would really love to come and watch us and learn us happy learning and keep watching thank you so much for joining thank you let me know if anyone has any questions sorry to ask that question last but let me know anyone has any questions <laughs>